Hey guys, um, what I got here is a Traxxas Sport Max. It's actually upgraded to be AT Max. It's got the two speed, it's got the four wheel drive, it's got the reverse. Um, when I got to it, it was this way. It is, as you can tell, it's been sitting a while. It's been sitting about four or five years. So I'm going to start working on it to see what all we have to do. All right, I'm going to take off the cover first thing. Set that on the floor. All right. Keep track of your pins because they're easy to lose. They're pretty cheap to replace too. All right, so first glances at it. Um, Definitely dirty, something that's been sitting a while. Got a couple of rags here, a couple of wet ones, a dry one. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to replace the glow plug. As you can see, I'll try to zoom in here for you. Let's see. See that right there? That's a problem. I could, you know, short out on the head. But it also temporary fix. I'm gonna go ahead and use some black tape, but first I'm gonna pop this off. It can be kind of boogers to there we go. Alright. Ideally I need to get Completely new wire, but for now, I'm just gonna throw some tape on it. So I'm gonna clean up the wire a little bit here, so we get good, good adhesive. All right, the black tape. Try to get it peeled up here so I can get a good grip here. All right. Like I said, this is temporary, not something we should leave this way, but for today, we're just going to wrap it in electrical tape. Don't use scotch tape or masking tape likely to ignite, and you don't want to start a fire. Alright, so we got that fixed enough anyways so it's not gonna arc or anything like that all right next we are going to pull off the air cleaner still pretty clean in there pretty oily which is good that way the rust doesn't get in there um, Take the glow plug out. You get your screwdriver here. I always like to do it kind of sideways or upside down. That way, I can get it out of there easier. All right. All right. So, by looking at it, you'd say, "Well, you got the glow plug out, but..." There is a washer in there you need to get out. So a lot of times you have to shake it upside down. The glow plug might still be fine, but being it's been sitting so long, I'm just gonna replace it. All right. See that little washer there? It's a little copper washer that they, you know, sits down in there. So you need to make sure that's in there when you go to put it back in. Alright, so now we got that out. We're actually going to leave it out for now. Um, we're going to turn over the engine, try to get any of the excess fluid, whatever can be left over from 
as far as fuel goes. And right before I do that though, I'm going to open the gas lid here. And I'm going to tip it upside down. Now this might make a mess. Hopefully not. But hopefully I'll get it all soaked up into the rig here. I just kind of pinch the cap in with the Kind of hard to see, but I just tip it upside down. Okay, there's still some fluid in there. And I'm just going to take my rag and then I am going to add stuff in there somewhat. Try to get some of that fluid that's been sitting there for quite a while. Try to get some of that out of there. Wipe off the cap and the edges. Alright. I don't know if it'll show up on camera or not, but you can still see fuel moving through the lines, so that's why I want to run it. I'll turn it over anyways to see what will come out. I'm going to actually use that same rag. Try not to get any dirt down your glow plug hole because it will just cause problems later. Inside this little box here, there's a couple screws on both sides, and it has screws to take out to access batteries for um, for your transmitter, power to the servos, and all that stuff. I'm sorry, I was incorrect. It is instead this box with the little on and off switch. Alright, this track is on top. That's the box you want to access, not the other one. Sorry about that. Still has power, but we're going to replace the batteries anyways. Don't want to run away machine. Alright. I'm going to grab a felt screwdriver quick. Loosen those two screws. All the time you just leave the screws in the housing. Don't need to worry about taking them out with it. Alright. 
There you have it. Got this little deal that gets inserted in there. Um, yeah, it runs power to your servos, stuff like that. Um, so we're gonna actually just replace those. They've been in here a while. Doesn't appear that they started any corrosion, which is good. back in there, like so, find the screws that fall out because I like to do that, there it is, and you want to take your screws, pop them in there, alright, something I want to show you here, actually my camera focuses here there's actually a little slot here for you can kind of see it there slot there for the wires anyways make sure you get the wires in that slot otherwise you'll tighten the screws down on the wire and cause problems so pinch the wire Cut the wire. So we'll use your imagination. Alright. So then we screw it back down. Alright. So now it's replaced. You can try it, you'll hear the servos kind of correct themselves. Alright, so we got power, that's a good thing. Alright. So, you know, it doesn't look like we got all of our fluid out. You can kind of see the pink in the bottom of that gas tank. So we're going to try this again. Dip it upside down. Soak up the excess. Alright. more it's not a good idea to get this on your hands by the way alright I'm just holding it upside down to get the fluid out of there Just about have it all. This time should be the last time we get to do this. All right. I'm just going to throw some garbage right now. Alright, so next we are going to reinstall the glow plug. I 
I use actual Traxxas glow plugs. They make good ones and I don't look around because I already know this one's good. Alright, so one thing, I don't think I'll be able to get it on the camera, but these washers are concave. They kind of have a bevel to them. Make sure it bevels down. Don't don't let it bevel up because then you'll have won't seal right, and it probably won't run right, and you'll get upset. And so your truck across the floor, and then it's all for vain. All right. So just nice and snug, no reef on it. Remember, you're dealing with aluminum here, so easy to strip the threads out. So be careful with that. All right, I will take the wire that we just temporarily repaired, and we're going to stick it on there. You kind of feel a click or a little snap when it goes on. All right, all right, so that's good. Um, now for the air cleaner, I mean, it takes quite a bit for it to not be good. Um, basically, you put an oil on it to trap dirt so it doesn't get to the engine. Alright. After you run them, you're supposed to open them up, wash them in a warm so warm water, um, dry them out, let them dry completely, don't run it when it's wet. And they have some oil filter oil, which I don't have any right here right now, but uh, you just put a few dabs in there and it soaks into the sponge. Alright, so now we'll stick this back on. Like that. Zoom in a little bit. Alright. Now. We're going to check the tires, make sure that they're still sealed, glued together. Um, let's see, I'll turn this way. Kind of zoom in on this one here. This one needs to be glued. See that? It's not not glued to the bead. It's loose. It needs to be glued. This one over here, no, let's see. That one seems to be still glued nice. Alright, let's turn to this side. Alright, we got another one that needs to be glued. Yeah, they pretty much, all except for one, need to be glued. So, I'm going to. Take some glue. All right. Clip off the end. This is extra strength rubber toughened glue for gluing your tires back back on the bead. You just want to put a bead 
around the whole thing. Right, it comes apart where it's still glued pretty well. You can go ahead and skip it and go to the next part that starts to open up. Kind of a pain in the butt, but it's necessary. Alright. Looks good now. Well, I'll do the other two later. Shorten the video a little bit. You don't have to see me do all three of them. Alright, just put the cap back on. Now, I'm going to take my remote here. Alright. So I turn them on. Okay, it's making connection. It's recognizing the controller, vice versa. Which the remote will start blinking when it starts going low, so I'm not too worried about changing batteries in that right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to put some gas in it. Not actual gasoline. I use. Traxxas fuel, top fuel. Alright, take the little red cap out of here. Alright, I'm not going to put very much in there because I'm just going to run it a little bit. Alright, so I put about a half tank in there. Be enough to get it going. Started, hopefully. Hopefully everything starts here. Alright. So we kind of ran through all the basics here. Things to check for, things to look for. How to fix it, how to temporarily fix it. And now you turn on your vehicle and you turn on your remote all right and then you want to test make sure that your servos are working especially the throttle all right see that that's reverse that's forward reverse forward And you just lift up your front end, your other end. Alright, we got movement in the tires. My arm seems to always get in the way here. Alright. So everything should be working just fine. I'm not sure what this uh, screw screw right here is to adjust richness of the fuel, how much fuel it feeds. Alright, the richer the fuel, the cooler it'll run, the more blue smoke you'll have coming off the exhaust, the leaner, the further you turn in, the leaner it'll get, um, the hotter it'll get, it'll have more power, but if you run too hot, you could wreck your engine. So, without further ado, I am going to go ahead, 
Put my antenna all the way up. It's a long antenna. And I just start it up. I should really put this up on a stand so it's not running away from me if it does start. Okay, so I did some looking around and trying to figure out why I wouldn't start. And it turned out that I just primed it a little bit, I think is what it was. I made sure these lines were open, a few lines. Um, made sure those were open. And uh, I blew through this hose right here. I'll try to zoom in here quick. This line here that goes to the top here, the vent hose, blew through that into the to the fuel tank, which pushed fuel up into the carb. I'm thinking that's what it was. I don't think it was getting fuel and not enough pressure to push fuel through. But now it seems to be working. Um, here to charge and uh, so there you have it all ready to annoy neighbors thank you